Well, self self portrait I did was talking about uh, the sensations I felt inside my body. So I just followed the sensation inside my body, and suddenly I can f I just feel something. I don't know in my stomach, and it becomes the main organs, or or something in my throat, or something. Here, and I had s very of often the feeling that I was uh, separating in two parts with an horizontal, li horizontal line. So I figure out uh, the organs as uh, they were the location of the sensation I had. This is the, bi the this is what talking about uh, what I'm talking about with self-portrait. So n n no face, just an inner inner bodies with um, organs in um, in relationship together, but not on the right face, of course. What I can say about art. I is uh, our uh, unique organ in contact with the air. And so uh, everything are um, protected by the skin, but I are, is really, I think, the only one in direct contact to the brain and just in contact with the air. And uh, but I've, I have no reason to s I have no explanation to tell you where I choose the eye because this is the the one I work to with to work with. It's it's nothing to do with that. It's just um, um, it's my also my my own contact I have with human beings. It's to to look at them and when I look at them, I look at them into their eyes. And of course, at the same moment, I can feel everything by my body too. But m my organs, my my eye is my is really my organ to to touch. Mm -hmm. And well, I I don't know, but I well yes, what I can say I had more is I sh I make a, a film, I shoot people, hate men. And little by little, during the research and during the, the filming, I I go closer and closer and closer until I just catch this. And when everything was over, I continued to go through and to to go really in in at the surface of the eye, and then I I begin to draw it to draw them, to draw and to draw the connection, and to begin to talk about scores of I at the, and to talk about we don't know what it is, and I, I, I was just aware of the fact that there is strats, a lot of them, layers, I mean, together, and uh, I wanted to make it separate in different um, sheets, of um, to put to see the layers and the layers for me it was the beginning of scores and I wanted to explore it uh, by music as a really a known land.
to, to, to turn immediately uh, to avoid uh, a mis misunderstanding, uh, the big drawings here are not scores. They could be, but it's, uh, they are not. Um, I, use, I use them um, as a double side of uh, a kind of external side, I mean the eye itself, and the inner, uh, inner side is uh, veins, uh, the connections uh, to the brain, for example. So, behind the skin and in front of. Um, and what they followed to, um, to play was something else. Is uh, really, it's coming from uh, my intention to make scores, really. And the scores are the four frames on the wall behind you. And uh, that's, that's what they follow. Uh, from this, from the, from the from four frames, I, uh, the four drawings, I, I make a livret, and they have the livret under their eyes, and they choose one part of it. Each, each uh, sheet of the livret are composed with, uh, combined with uh, graphic scores and image, so it, it gives a kind of uh, mood I can describe to her and then they make their own interpretation. And the, the thing we decided together was, we decided together with the singer and the cellist, was the um, uh, dispositive of everything. And the dispositive was to be one of them, the cellist was the inner side, so behind, in contact with the veins it's themselves, and the other one, the singer, was the other side and was the external side with the voice. But together they are one. It's like we, it, it likes, um, it's like uh, you just can express suddenly. Um, at the same moment, your inner voice that we ne never want, no one can hear, of course. And the contact of uh, what of the of uh, the contact with the eye to the hair with the voice, but it's the same uh, human being or same one person. Yes, I think so. I think it's a. I think it's a, some things. Some things are coming out um, from the print and the drawing. So there is two things: uh, a, a print coming from uh, my ten photographs of the ten different eyes, and I have to precise that the ten eyes are blind. And I think that um, something is coming out from the lines, but I cannot do, I cannot say what it is. Of course, it's a, and it's also good to um, for this exhibition to have the three of them, yeah, because it's it's it gives something more than only one um, as a different story or a different concentration or different. Identity, we can say. It's quite, it's quite new in my, in my, in my work. 
um, I have the feeling that um, I want to I want to build something without any support at all, and I just want to build something print in the air as a projection of what I is able to see, or also as what could be a psychic skin. So this is a concept a little bit uh, complex, uh, but also very simple. It's just uh, something we, we cannot um, see, of course, because m m psychic skin is something quite conceptual. But I think that uh, the this this skin we talked about is, is the content the content uh, the skin content contains uh, um, every layers of what up of what happens in our life. And uh, my first idea was to to build something big uh, with all these images uh, with any support, but we have of course. To, to see it with any support and just seeing as uh, moving events happened in the past time or in the future or in the present time. So the question of time is of course very important. Uh, the interaction between all the events are also important and my intuition is um, um, all the events are uh, superimposed together and are talking about emotional uh, emotional um, pulsation we have inside so I talk and I call them seism because we cannot um, it's impossible to it's something we have Without, we have inside without any control. Um, that's why now I, I, I superimposed uh, graphs also, seismogram. Well, I don't know if I'm clear enough, but that's... Uh, and yes, I want... I call them at first hologram because I thought uh, maybe one or two months late ago that the final forms will be hologram, but of course I don't know the final form. I cannot say actually at the moment, but I'm on the way to develop this much more, I think. But I don't like when we talk about memory um, is um, the relationship that everybody would um, make with the past. I work only with, um, with life. <laughs> it's true. So I just catch things really coming from from now and I use it and even if sometimes I use images coming from the past they are so alive and they are so talking about what the future is is bring us to is bring to us 